Another day, another batch of boosters, and these boosters come from Middle Earth CCG, the Lidless Eye. And of course, I am the CCG collector. Let's get to opening these. This is the second major uh, set released in the Middle Earth CCG. You had the first major set, which was the Wizards. That was followed by the Dragons, then Dark Minions, and then the Lidless Eye was something like 400 cards and they uh, approach things from the minion side of, uh, of Middle-earth. So instead of leading a company of good guys with a wizard, you're leading a company of bad guys with a ring wraith. The goal being to prove to Sauron that you are the man, pretty much. Um, and that's it. You gather marshalling points, prove that you're best, the best that way, or you can take the one ring to him, win that way. So, yeah. Anyway, rats. One Okay, these are our uncommons. We got four of them. Uh, playable on a company containing a minor item, and they discard that. Oh, that's fun. Not slay needlessly. Okay. Cancel an attack against a covert company, or minus two to its prowess. Tidings of doubt and despair. Direct influence of each ring wraith is lowered by two. Orcs of the Red Eye. Okay. Dwarven Ring of Bavor's Tribe. This is our rare. Dwarven Ring. Uh, Dwarven Bear gets bonus stuff. Uh, seven mine, four prowess, etc. Tap a Dwarf Bear to search your play deck for a greater item playable. It must be played immediately. Wow. Pretty good. And you could get that from this gold ring that Sauron fancies. Corpse Candle. Gifts as given of old. Giant spiders. Oh, look at that. That's some good stuff. Black male coat. Awakened denizens. Snagahai. Yin Alish. Alish. I don't know how it's pronounced, but very pleasant. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm looking at it from under the camera. I'm probably... Wrecking this for all you guys. I'll look through the uh, the screen. There we go. Black Mail Coat. Awakened Denizens. Snagahai. Yenilish. Bold Thrust. And Cave Worm. It's quite a take on a Cave Worm. Alright. What does the next pack hold for us? Let's start off with some Orcs of Angmar. As usual, once you when you go into a booster box like I am, the commons start to look start to get real old real fast but the uncommons and of course the rares if uh, you know if you're lucky do not look uh, they do not get old Orcs of Angmar this is one I haven't seen yet play about Mount Graham once in play the number required to influence this faction is zero so that just means in the Lidless Eye and beyond possibly in Dark Minions you have the ability to influence factions and characters and items and all that away from your opponent. So I guess these guys will go with whoever says, say, hey, help me out here. Orc Chieftain, okay. Red Book of Westmarch. Two marshalling points, but if you can bring this bad boy from Bag End all the way to Baradur, it's worth five. Watcher in the Water and our rare. Kamul Unleashed. So I'm looking for a Korra Hill Unleashed. I've gotten Ren, I've gotten Kamul. Uh, still, still great to have. A playable on any attack against his company. Prowess is modified by minus three. Really? Or you choose defending characters. I don't know. That doesn't seem great for a rare, but all right. River, Gifts is Given of Old, Giant Spiders, Paltry Ring, Landrake, Black Eyed Shield, Awakened Denizens, Snug High, and Incite Denizens. Some of these feel rather similar to uh, <laughs> to the previous pack, but that's okay. All right. Burning Rick, Cot, and Tree. What does this do? Oh, this is a, this is a neat card. I recognize this one. Play on an already tapped border hole during the site phase. The company faces two attacks. Four strikes with seven prowess. One strike with nine prowess. I guess a band of people and their leader. If no characters are untapped after the attack, discard this card. Otherwise, you may tap one character in the company and put this in the marshalling point pile. 
discard any factions you have in play that are playable at that site. So basically, you've gone to a site, you've raided it for all it's worth, you've gotten your item or your faction or whatever, and now you're like, all right, let's torch the place. And a couple of guys try to say, no, don't torch our town, and you say, I'm going to do it anyway. And then when you do, you get two marshaling points. Pretty neat. Dead marshes. Oh, that is... I just love the atmosphere of that card, of that image. Trust Hesnef, High Helm, and Lieutenant of Angmar. Okay. I don't know if that's a valuable card or not. I know he looks like you don't want to mess with him. Uh, Manifestation of Ragrag, okay. Seize Prisoners, Lost in the Wilderness, Bold Thrust. I mean, we've seen all these before. Are there really that few commons that I'm... Like, I've seen a lot of these very recently. Orc Liquor. Oh, the pair of uh, foul-smelling paste. Ugh, just those images just look not great. <laughs> I mean, now when you have... And, and so, so here's what's interesting about it. And here's what I can't quite put my finger on. But, like, there, there are different varieties of art. I mean, there are different art styles, right? Different levels of skill. I mean, clearly, whoever drew this has a different style than whoever drew, you know, this. Or whoever drew that. But somehow, even though this is, you know, more cartoony looking, for example, than giant, somehow these just still look terrible. So I, like, like I said, I can't put my finger on why, but we'll keep it buried underneath that pile there. All right. Uncommons. Poisonous Despair. Spirit Magic. Uh, in response to an influence attempt, the attempt is canceled. Okay. He's Ring Wraith. He can also cancel an influence attempt against any of his factions. So basically, this is kind of goes to what I was talking about before, where if your opponent is trying to influence stuff away from you, you can say, not today. Glad in Fields. Uh, I don't know that glad is really the right word. Well, that guy's glad. Um, oh, okay, I see. So that, it looks like that is where... Isildur was shot and lost the ring. That would make sense. He looks like he has a crown on. Watcher in the Water, Orcs of the Ash Mountains, and Morgul Blade. What is Morgul Blade all about? Playable on your Ring Wraith or Ring Wraith Follower, which, if I'm understanding the rules right, in the Wizards and Hero Companies, you can only have one Wizard and that's that. Here you can have a Ring Wraith leading your 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 side, your gameplay, but I believe you can also have other Ring Wraith characters that are not your main one, but are still in play. Uh, oh, and the reason you guys haven't seen any Ring Wraith is because, like the Wizards in the Wizards, uh, they were fixed cards in the starter decks. So just like in the Wizards starter decks, you'd have 60-something random cards, or 50, I don't know. And then you'd have like a 15-card fixed pack. The nice thing about the Lidless Eye starter decks, though, is that they had a cutout in the front, so you actually knew which one you were getting. You could say, oh, yeah, I want, you know, this guy, or I want that guy, or I want that guy, instead of just winging it and hoping that you get one you don't have with the uh, completely opaque and hidden uh, Wizards starter decks. Morgul Blade. Bolt Thrust, Cave Worm. Sudden Call. So this is interesting. As a Ring Wraith, there are a couple of ways that you can call an end to the game. Uh, in general. Sorry about smacking the camera there. As a hero player, it's straightforward. If you go through your deck, I think, once. If both players go through your deck once, then on the next turn you can have your, your audience of the free council or whatever to determine who has the most marshalling points who wins the game. Uh, you can also, if you have a certain amount of marshalling points, you don't need both players to go through their decks. You can just say, hey, I've got 18 or I've got 20 or whatever. Let's call the free council. Let's get this game done. With a ring wraith, you still trigger it when both people have gone through their decks once, but you need this call, sudden call, this card, a sudden call, to trigger an audience with Sauron. 
card may not be placed as a hazard against, oh, so it says you may use this as a resource or a hazard. Right now this is a resource. Card may not be played as a hazard against a wizard player and may be included as a hazard in a wizard's deck. Okay. Muster disperses. So it actually doesn't really say what it does other than according to the audience of Sauron rules. That's very Star Wars-y of it. <laughs> you know, with their bluff rules in effect here and uh, your weapons are powered or whatever. Anyway, uh, Lost in Shadowlands. Very cool. Orc Liquor. Very not cool. Marsh Drake. Back to cool. Minor Ring and Wild Trolls. Alrighty. Got some... Got a Ring Wraith and Dwarven Ring and all that. There's the rares. Let's see what else we can dig up here. Yeah, so far I haven't really seen any of the cards that um, I'm looking forward to complete my challenge decks. And that's actually the reason that I'm going through these, I'm opening these boosters, because I figure I get a bunch of nice mint condition cards, and I also might be able to get some of the cards I need. But so far, not so good. Old Troll, oh, Magic Ring of Delusion. That's slick. Uh, Bear can use Spirit Magic. All right. Rats and Bandit Lair. And Remnants of Old Robberies. Playable on a non-wolves, non-animals, non-Nazgul hazard creature attack that you just defeated. Put it with the attack's card, and they receive a number of miscellaneous marshalling points equal to the kill marshalling points. The defeated creature would give a hero player. Well, that's cool. So, yeah. You defeat an attack, and you get bonus points for it. Fell Rider, nothing to eat or drink. War Warg, Lure of Nature. Weigh all things to a nicety, very popular card. Despite it being a common, I have not gotten a lot of it. I've gotten a lot of other commons, but cool. And you can see why it's popular. Bring a resource or a character from your sideboard into your play deck. I mean, that's pretty good. Skies of Fire, Warband. Winter. All right, last pack of this booster opening video. Have I saved the best for last? Well, I've saved some cards we haven't seen for last. Starting with this Magic Ring of Shadows. Bear can use Shadow Magic. So apparently there are cards that are Spirit Magic and cards that are Shadow Magic. Very neat. Mount Graham. Cool. Rob Alexander. That I think that guy has done a lot of art for magic cards. And you can see why. It looks good. Heralded Lord. Okay. So this is another... So there are, there are three types of ring raid modes. There's Fell Rider mode, which you can see right there. There's uh, Black Rider mode. And there's Heralded Lord mode. And ring raids are normally, unlike wizards, which can travel every which way they want, ring raids are restricted in their movement and abilities. But you can put them in these different modes. And... And then as long as you follow the conditions of the card, you get certain effects. Like this one says, if your ring ray is hanging out at a dark haven, he isn't as strong, but he gets a lot more direct influence, and his own company may move to a non-dark haven site. So it seems like ordinarily you can't. All right, so yeah, at that point he he can move around and influence factions a little bit better, but he's not as good at fighting. Lake Town and the rare. Really? Blue Mountain Dwarfold is a rare? Let me just verify that, because that seems odd to me. Alrighty, hazard creatures, hazard events, faction sites. It's a rare. Let's find out why. Uh, playable items, major, minor, minor, major, greater, gold ring. Okay, that's pretty good, so you can just play a lot of stuff there. I'll be at your heels, sell swords to satisfy the questioner, arouse defenders, the ring leaves its mark. Well, that's cool. Bring one Black Rider, Fell Rider, or Heralded Lords, those are the different ring raid modes, card from your sideboard or discard pile into your play deck and reshuffle. Or potentially untap your ring raid. All right. Oh, that was this Little Eye Boost Open. Our rares this time around were. Blue Mountain Dwarfold, Remnants of Old Robberies, 
Morgoblade, Lieutenant of Angmar, Kamul Unleashed, and Dwarven Ring of Bavor's, Bavor's Tribe. Bavor's Tribe. All right, I am the CCG Collector. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.